A class has several features. One of those features is initialization method, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. The second feature is writing methods. The third feature is a help text that you write so that the users can benefit from it. And the last feature is method communication, in which you write methods that communicate with one another. As I explained in the previous lecture, we can create a class for a calculator. So we named it as a calculator class. And I'm going to talk about the details of the calculator class here. In order to create the class, you write down class and calculator as a name and colon. You can write a help string or a help text here, which we'll run later on. The first method to write is the initialization method. To do so, write down def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and open close parentheses. The first parameter that you write is self and then you write down the other parameters. To initialize the parameters, you write down self dot the first parameter equals the parameter and the same for the other parameters that you have. Then you write down the other methods. The first method that we are going to use is addition method in order to add and sum numbers together. For every method, you can write down help text like the help text we wrote for the calculator class. You can say that this is an addition method. It can provide the sum of entered values or endless number of values. This is a text that helps the user to understand what the method is about. It is important to bear that in mind. Whenever you write a method, the initialization runs the self. So that's why we use self. Now we have a local variable called adder, which sums up x and y with the sum of the arguments that a user writes down or provides. Then we return adder. We can do the same procedure for subtraction, multiplication, and division methods. We write a text here as a help text, then we declare a variable and this variable is called sub, which subtracts one variable from the other, then return sub. The third method is multiplication, which multiplies x by y. And you can write help text as well here and follow this text by the method itself. And our method here is that you declare a variable, which is multi, and it is equal to the multiplication of x and y and return multi so that the user gets the value. The last method is division and we declare the same variables here but with different names and different processes. We also write help text. This is a division method that divides one variable by the other. Here we write down div equals x divided by y and return div, short for division. In order to run a method, inside the class, what you've got to do is to write down print and in between parentheses, name of the class, which is calculator here, dot the name of the method. And in parentheses, you write down the data that you have. Here we pass several numbers so that we add them together and we can run this. Upon running it, we'll get the sum of all of the values that have been entered which is equal to 25. You can do the same thing for the other methods, which were subtraction, multiplication, and division. To avoid confusion, you can comment out the lines that you don't want to be shown. So you write down print calculator sub dot subtraction and enter two values. The subtraction of two from seven is five. Now we run the multiplication method of the same class. We pass two values, three and four, and we should get 12 as an output. If you run the last method, which is division, you should be able to divide one value by another. So we divide 12 by two, let's say, it should be six. The result of such division is a float value, which is 6.0. So that's how you create a class and get the outputs from a class. You can get the outputs from the interpreter by calling the class. So if you run it 
in empty, you don't get anything. You write down the name of the class, dot the name of the method that you want to use from the class, let's say addition, and in between parentheses, you pass values or variables that have values in them. So we pass several numbers. Here we use random numbers just to get output from it. So the sum of those values were 21. You can use the subtraction method as well to subtract one value from the other. So we subtract 10 from 12 and it is two. And it is the same for the other methods like multiplication and division. You can also use help function inside your class and the syntax of such process is writing down the term help followed by the name of the class in between parentheses. So here we have help and calculator which is the name of the class and we should get something like this. You can see that the doc string here is written in every method and there are other help strings that are written by default. So I hope you understood the principle of creating a class in this lecture.